Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another big upcycling project day. I have a ton of different things to get done. Most of these you guys have seen in a Goodwill haul and they just all need a little bit of attention in order for me to sell them in my antique booth, Green and Vintage, for a good profit. Let me just show you what I'm going to get started with. We're going to jump right into today's video because I have so many things to work on. I think I really want to tackle this guy first. I shared this in a recent Goodwill haul. I paid $6 and I'm actually going to separate the two pieces. Somebody asked me if it was um, something that turned into a punch bowl when you turn it upside down, but it, it doesn't. It's actually solid on the bottom, but I'm glad you said that because I wouldn't have known to check for that. I'm going to pair the glass cloche with this old seat from a stool that I got from a yard sale for like a dollar and the stool was all broken and I used it for a long time even though it was really broken and about to just fall apart. I eventually just ripped the seat off and I think I used the spindles for another project but together they're like so great and I think I can get a lot more money for this combination rather than for the cloche with the cake sand combination. So I'm going to sand this guy and make him look like a really cool old piece of wood. It's not going to be food safe but I'll put that on my sale tag and put these guys together. I bet I can get close to $35 for that combo. I think I'm going to paint this the color Sandbar from Dixie Belle and I recently repainted my clock in it. I know it's hard to tell on camera but it's actually the color of like an antique croc and I'm really really liking it. It looks kind of gray in some lights but it's actually a little warmer than gray. It's like a really nice grayish I would say and just sell this on its own. I think that'll be really pretty. Um, so that's going to be my first project. Let's get started on this now. up is this glass cake stand. I paid $1.50 for it at a local Goodwill yet again, but a different one than I've been to at other times. 
I'm gonna paint the inside of this white and give it a little twine right here. And I think that'll update it and make it look nice and cute. And it'll still be food safe on the top so you can serve food on it if you'd like. Now I didn't love how this glass cake plate came out, so I'm going to actually go ahead and do a gingham top on this one also. I love how the other one turned out so much that I just feel like I have to do the same on this one. It's just a little plain with the uh, sandbar color on the bottom and the twine there. I don't hate it, but I just think that I could ask even more for it if I put a little bit more time into it. and make this a gingham top. So I'm going to go ahead and do slick stick, let this dry really well, and then uh, do the same color of gingham as I did on the other plate. Next up is this little terracotta pot. I say little, but it's actually pretty tall. It says wine cooler right here, so I'm not a huge fan of how it looks right now. It also is a little bit cracked. I was thinking that I was gonna leave the terracotta natural because I know it's pretty popular right now, but I think that what I need to do is probably paint it um, a light gray and give it like a cement treatment. And then I really wanna make a new label for it using the crockery stamps and some clay. So I think this will be really pretty. I'll sell it probably with some greenery in it. Um, so this should be a fairly quick project that's gonna have a really awesome result. So let's get working on this guy.
Next is this metal stand. I originally thought I would just go ahead and paint it black so that it looks like wrought iron. I mean, it is actually metal, um, but I think that for springtime, I'm gonna paint it green. Surprise, surprise, that is my favorite color. And if you missed it, my booth's name is Green Onion Vintage. Um, so it's my favorite color to use. I just did this hutch in a recent video, and I think I wanna do a similar shade for this. I just think it would look so good with any kind of plant that you put on top or whatever you wanted to put on top. So let's paint him green. I'm gonna modernize this guy with some paint. I think I'm just gonna go white with him, go pretty traditional farmhouse. No, I should say modern farmhouse. I'm gonna do white, I'm gonna distress the edges, and I'm gonna stencil the word male right on the front here using some stencils that I got from Walmart. Next up, I think this is a recipe box. I, I believe that's what would have fit in here, just some recipe cards. I'm gonna go pretty farmhouse style with this one. I'm gonna paint it white. I think I'm gonna do a little crockery stamp on it. So I might do um, the sandbar color again for this, kind of that crockery color uh, and white wax it again because I really like the combination of those two. And that'll be quick and easy and it'll look completely different.
Next, I have this little archway piece. I know I'm gonna regret painting this because it's gonna be so tedious, but I think I'm gonna just make this a little bit of a brighter solid color. I'm not a huge fan of the dry brushing technique. I paid six dollars for this at Goodwill, and I'm gonna put a little, little and I'm gonna put a little wreath on it at the end, and I think that'll be an easy seller for me. I have this frame now, it's just an oval frame from Goodwill. I paid $1 for it, uh, it's plastic, it's not even real wood. So I'm gonna take out the image they have here. It's actually meant to go vertical, so I think that's how I'm gonna use it. I printed off this like vintage camera photo. And so I'm gonna, uh, oh, it's upside down. I'm gonna actually um, lightly stain this. So it almost, just to antique it a little bit. I'm gonna paint the frame black. And I think the combination together will look pretty cool. Next up is this little frame. I featured this in my recent Goodwill haul. I only paid 50 cents for it because it was, I think, 50% off. I'm pretty sure. If not, it was a dollar, so no biggie. Um, I'm gonna try to swap out the image. I haven't printed anything off yet, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, but I do think just updating the color of the frame and putting in like a vintage-inspired picture is gonna make this really cute and easy to sell. Next I have this green filing box. It's from Goodwill for $3. I know that it's a filing box, but I'm actually gonna feature it more as like a kitchen piece. So I'm gonna stencil a word on the front. I think I'm just gonna do the word lunch as if it was like an antique lunch box because I have seen a lot of lunch boxes that were also this color. And it would be great to just like store whatever you wanted on your kitchen shelves if you have that kind of space.
I think my last project for the day is going to be painting this picnic basket. I'm, I'm torn about whether I should paint the baskets. I don't know if you guys saw the stack of them I have back here. That Those are all from recent Goodwill hauls that I shared with you guys. And so is this one. And I think I paid about $6 for this. So let's get to work on this one and call it a day. Here is the real MVP of today's video. This French tip brush from Dixie Belle, it's nice and angled at the end, it's a natural bristle brush. And I cannot believe how much quicker my projects came along just because of the shape of this, especially with like the detailed work of this piece and even the basket. And it washes out so easily, it's nice and light, and it's only $9.95. From Dixie Bell. So if you go over to our Etsy page, make sure you snag one of these because this was a game changer for sure. guys I hope you enjoyed today's DIY video I had a great time upcycling all of these antiques and I think the collection in the end just looks really great together I love when everything kind of has a similar color scheme so that it all kind of goes together and is very cohesive I love using like the dark green accents especially paired with like this white and the off-white drop cloth and sandbar colors from Dixie Belle Overall, these projects were really fun, super easy to do. I mean, I feel like anybody at any skill level could have done these projects. It just takes some time and some creativity to reimagine some antiques you find at Goodwill and just turn them into something beautiful for your home. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I'll have more content like this coming up soon. And I'll also show you how all these pieces look in my antique booth soon. And hopefully as they sell, I can update you guys and let you know what my profits are. I appreciate you watching so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.